Avengers Age of Ultron Amazing I'm going to talk about the trailer First of all, let me show you something, okay? I am in there with Marvel I got invited to watch Wolverine Rubbish film, right? But I still got invited Got invited by Marvel Yeah? To Guardian of the Galaxy Got invited by Marvel to watch Captain America. They invited me. I'm in there. Got invited by Marvel. See that? Invited by Marvel. I'm in there. I am a Marvel man. Yeah, I talk about video games, but I also talk about movies. 2000. First printing. Mint condition. Oh, yes, 2000. 15 years old. Mint condition. First printing. Two thousand. Mint condition. Two thousand and one. You remember that? Remember that? 14 years old. Two thousand and three. Mint condition. Let me show you something. I'm not playing games, yo. Civil War. First printing of the book. Secret War. I'm done. I am done. I am amazed by that trailer. My head came off, literally spun off. I watched it on my phone this morning, but I only really watched it when I got back home. And I watched it on my TV, because my TV is godlike. Yeah. I don't know what to say. First of all, let's talk about what we saw in the trailer. Yeah. Age of Ultron, if you notice in the first few seconds of the trailer, you actually see Wanda and Pietro, um, that's Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, in the beginning of the trailer, like the first few seconds, like two or three seconds, and Pietro's got brown hair. If you notice, he's got brown hair, and he doesn't have the white hair, and Wanda looks totally different in the first two seconds of the film. This, is, this film has got the Mutant Registration Act, or what is going on in the world but there's some type of civil unrest going on in the world so i don't know what's going on there but that looks kind of interesting we see ultron already we're going to assume by looking at this that they're not going to follow the ant-man story line with ultron it's going to be i think it's going to be more to do with tony stark like tony stark has created an intelligence of ultron or whatever yeah because if you see ultron ultron actually first comes out and he's in one of the robot robot test dummies that the Avengers use because you see the suit that Ultron is in and he's like saying like I'll show you something beautiful a world where people are screaming and dying oh Ultron looks sick he looks sick and his voice he sounds like a proper menace like he ain't just gonna be some dumb robot he is gonna be like some crazy like the Joker, like you know you're gonna like Ultron, yeah? Oh, um, I just, okay. It's so godlike. That trailer was so godlike. It's so me because I'm an X Man man. You know, I follow X Man. I showed you some of the stuff, yeah, that I've the comics that I've collected, the Marvel from years. Like I've been reading comics for since the year since 2000 and, and 1994, 1994, um, 1992. I've been reading comics, yeah. Marvel Comics, this and the other. Yeah, I love it. I love it. The Apocalypse Saga, the House of M, the Extremist Saga, 
everything. I've read everything. Blink, Holocaust, Shama Garaf, Taskmaster, Nova, they bring back, you know, Richard Ryder, Stephen Strange, Emma Frost, all the characters. I love X-Men, I love Marvel. Yet yeah, for this, me, I'm a kid in a candy store right now. Oh, let's get into it. The Hulkbuster. They had the Hulkbuster. Now, let me tell you something about the Buster, Hulkbuster, okay? Tony Stark created the Hulkbuster specifically to fight the Incredible Hulk. The fight was godlike. Did he beat Hulk? No. But he was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Incredible Hulk, with the Hulkbuster. And if you look in the trailer, you actually see pieces of the armor um, flying towards Tony Stark. I don't know what to say, man. It looked godlike. Another thing as well, if you notice, there was a war going on, yeah, in some kind of like snowy area. I'm going to assume it's got something to do with Hydra. You know, because if you remember in them Captain America 2 or something like that, you saw one damn Pietro in the hands of Hydra. Yeah, I think they volunteered to be test subjects, yeah. So maybe the Avengers are trying to save them or something. And then that, that's a war between Hydra and the Avengers. I don't know. And let me tell you something about Ultron, right? Like, do we say, why is Ultron so powerful? Ultron was created out of the intelligence of Ant-Man. Ant-Man used his mind, his psyche to create Ultron. Although they're not, they're not doing it in this film, it's still where he comes from. Like, something must, he must be like, based off some artificial intelligence like Tony Stark's or something like that. He comes from that intelligence, but he's a supercomputer. So he is like, I think he's like times, more than 10 times. He's very, he's more intelligent than Ant-Man, but he's got a twisted psyche of Ant-Man. So I don't know what this Ultron is. His body is an adamantium body, virtually indestructible. As well as him, he can fly, he's got superhuman strength. He's got ridiculous intellect. Like, because the powerful, the most smartest people in the whole Marvel Universe, Reed Richards, Dr. Von Doom, Peter Parker, Tony Stark. Well, those are like the most intelligent people in the whole Marvel Universe. And then you have Ultron. There are no strings on me because now I'm free. Amazing. If you look at the body that Ultron is in in the trailer, he's actually got an Avengers symbol on his chest, on his left chest there. Yeah, which means he's a test robot, which means that the robots might have like some kind of intelligence or something like that bled into it. And when he crashed one of the robots, that robot had another Avengers symbol on it. So they have like test dummies, robot simulator dummies that they must be damaging or something like that. Let's talk about Wanda, Pietro and Wanda, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Um, when you look at them, right? Let me tell you something about Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch is very dangerous. She's a very dangerous mutant because of her... She's very unstable. She's got chaos magic. She's got mystic abilities. And she's got the power of probability. She is the one with... Now, the reason she is so important is... She's actually... I think she could be a potential weakness to Ultron. Because she could probably cause a malfunction... Or a miscalculation in Ultron. Because that's a very, very important part of Ultron's character. Is calculation. He calculates situations. Yeah, that's why he's so godlike. And when it comes to... When he's doing anything. Double any plan. Ultron virtually can't be killed. Let me tell you something, okay? Do you know how they killed Ultron? They killed Ultron. This is the comic books. It's not a spoiler. Yeah, they're going to change it for the film. They tricked him into shutting himself down. That is how they killed, they beat Ultron. And then what later on, I think it was the seventh reincarnation of Ultron. That was the one where Tony Stark reactivated him. I think it was the seventh or the eighth one. Yeah, I'm going on Total Recall here. There's a lot, there's been a lot of incarnations of Ultron. And every time he comes back, he has a new ability. I'm speechless. I still... I'm thinking about the trailer. I've watched that trailer like about 20 times already. You know, so I'm just going to give my take on it. You know, and say what I saw in the trailer. Other than being amazed, because I'm sure you're amazed too. 
you know, another thing I noticed, did you notice there was a scene where you saw a lot of ships on land? That was probably a river. And that was potentially Scarlet Witch. Which means she doesn't just have concussive blasts and probability magic. She might have chaos magic and mystic abilities in this film. And Ultron's trying to unlock them. That's why he's probably using Pietro Wanda. I don't know, but she could, you could see so an entire river had been drained of water. A river or lake or whatever, and there was nothing but ships left. And that's blatantly going to be Wanda, Scarlet Witch. Wanda is her real name. Wanda Maximoff. I think I'm saying that right, I can't remember. And Pietro Maximoff, that's Quicksilver. But yeah, you know, I was delighted, man. Like, my head actually was spinning when I watched that trailer. I couldn't believe it. Man, unbelievable trailer. Marvel, well done. Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause and a pat on the back. Unbelievable. It's a good trailer. I was very entertained. And there's another thing I wanted to point out. If you look at the Hulkbuster, you will actually notice that the Hulkbuster has actually got, I think I counted four cores. Two cores of like, you know the, the power source that Iron Man has in his chest. Each leg had one core power source. He had one inside his normal suit, one powering the Hulkbuster suit and another one. So the suit alone had four visible cores. I'm amazed. I'm just like, that was, that trailer is like, it's not even a film, but I'm still like, I still feel like that's going to be like the best film ever. Just through watching the trailer. Man, Captain America looked sick. Four looked sick. Hulk looked militant. He was going on nuts. I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm excited. That was my take. My, my What I thought about the Avengers Age of Ultron trailer. I just wanted to do a little breakdown where I talk about what I saw, how hype I am. Let you guys know that the Warriors, that I'm in there. I showed you the stuff. Marvel, they invite me to movies. They invite me to their premieres for some bizarre reason. I don't know why. That's why I always keep it real for the Warriors, for the people. Because if I'm going to get something like that, I feel it's my duty to relay the realness. I'm not going to lie. Ain't no one paying me for what I say. Ain't nobody um, endorsing my words. I have a small YouTube that I just want to like put my opinions across. I don't want anyone to dictate to me what I say, how I say it, so I can swear. I can keep it real, whatever. That's how I want to be with you. As I said, I'd rather I was talking to um, Derek Dean, yeah? And he was even saying to me, it's better to have... A lot. It's better to have a small, informative and passionate audience that of warriors that you interact with than a passive, than a large passive audience that don't really that are just lots of numbers, but they don't really interact with you or anything like that. So I'm happy that um, I can talk to you guys. I can show you what I'm about. I'm going to be doing more videos, um, talking about discussions about movies, about films, about um, everything, about video games, about comics, about everything, man. So I'm just going to go in. Um, happy to talk to you guys. Happy to see you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you more for liking and everything like that. And we're going to do this thing. We're going to do this thing. Okay, guys. Until our next video, take care and... Be cool.